Hi developers, I'm Hossam Delay, Microsoft MVP. In this video, we'll learn how to use custom renders in Xamarin Forms applications. Custom renders are useful when we want to customize user controls by accessing each platform specific API. Let me explain. In this application right here, we are adding an entry and you see that the standard entry in Xamarin Forms doesn't have rounded edges. If you want to implement those rounded edges in iOS, Android and UWP applications, then we need to create a custom user control. But here we need to pass through the specific API implementation for the Xamarin for Android SDK iOS SDK and also UWP SDK. So let's learn how to implement this custom render that will display a rounded entry with Xamarin Forms. I start by creating a new empty Xamarin Forms application from Visual Studio. For that here I choose Visual C Sharp cross platform, then I choose cross platform app. Then I choose here the portable class library instead of the shared project. From the main page right here, we know that the default entry that we can use right from here doesn't have the rounded uh, edges. For that, we'll go and create our own entry. So we'll customize this default entry. To do that, the first step is to create the custom entry. For that, let's go to the PCL project right here and create or add a new class. We call it a rounded entry. Our rounded, rounded entry is a public class that inherits from entry. And this rounded entry actually will be implemented inside the platform specific code. So here we'll go and implement it from the Android project and also from the iOS and UWP projects. Let's start by the iOS project right here. For that, I'll go and create a new class inside the iOS. We call it rounded entry renderer iOS. It also should be a public class and it should inherit not from the entry, but it should inherit from the renderer for the entry. We see that here we have lots of renderers that we can use in order to customize our user interface and here we'll use the entry renderer. To start implementing this renderer we need to override the method on element change it. An element change it will be called when we call the rounded entry around, uh, render for iOS. And what we'll do here is that we'll go, let's uh, use some code snippets in order to implement the functionality right here. Here, what this does, it will uh, make sure that we didn't yet create the uh, rounded entry inside the application and when it will create it, it will go and change those default values. It will change the corner radius, the border width, border color, background color and so on. We see that those properties are specific to iOS. We cannot access those from our Xamarin Forms application. So this is the powerful of uh, creating custom renders. We can access those native iOS API from the iOS project and we can show them inside our Xamarin Forms application. Now what we want to do is that when we call the rounded entry, when we use the rounded entry, we want it to call the rounded entry render for iOS. To enable this, we'll go and use export attributes and here we need to use them on top of the namespace for our application or for our uh, class. Let's use some code snippets to add quickly the uh, code. So ex export render right here it have two uh, values or two parameters and this is tells if 
a call is made to the rounded entry then go and call the rounded entry under ios which is this class right here we'll go now and do and do the same thing for the android application so let's go to our android app and let's add a new class we call it rounded entry uh, renderer for android this should be a public class which also inherits from the entry renderer it also needs to override the method on element change it as we done with ios but here on element change it we'll use or we'll call the api specific to android so let's call the code right here that will make that happen here when we create the element for the first time we'll go and create a gradient drawable we pass the parameters for the corner radius to be 16 and the strokes to be uh, 5 for the width of that stroke and to get the color uh, deep pink then we set the color for the background then we tell that we want to apply this gradient drawable to the background of our control control here is the entry that is passed right here inside the e in android you can apply those shapes using xml files for that you you might want to add on the resources folder and inside the layout a rounded shape xml file where here you can define uh, the same rounded button in the uh, xml layout right here using this code so if you want to uh, to use this xml instead of writing that in the code so all you need to do is to tell that you want to apply that xml as the background by telling control dot set background resource and then you specify the resource dot layout resource dot layout dot rounded shape and with that we need to not forget here to use the export render so here we tell in each time we call the rounded entry we need to call this rounded entry renderer for android now let's use our rounded entry from the uh, main page dot xaml so here instead of calling entry i'll go and call my rounded entry here we are using the namespace for that which is under local custom render demo which is the name of my app right here so now when we run this app we'll get almost the same renderer as we have it uh, with, as we saw it in the demo of the application the source code for the application that we have built today is available on my github account so if you go to this project right here you can find the source code for today's video so i hope this video was helpful for you and thank you